It's been nine months since historic floods swarmed most of our state. South Carolina Disaster Recovery now asking for the public's help with what to do with almost $100 million in grant relief. News Travis Rice was at tonight's first town hall meeting and is letting you know what you need to qualify. Folks getting a more official look at how bad the thousand year flood was for South Carolina and how they can qualify for assistance. The state says it's based on eligibility. For example, um, someone who is over 65 uh, and disabled. Uh, and lost every lost their their mobile home. They're going to be on the first priority list. The disaster recovery office aims to repair at least 1,500 homes across the state with a 96 million dollar grant. I'm not doing too well. Um, I've been back and forth to the hospital. For Diana Dennison, the DRO is her last hope. Ever since her ceilings gave way to the historic rainfall, she's been fighting mold and insurance adjusters. They refuse to pay for me a place to go and live at or anything like that. They refuse to come in and replace whatever been damaged in my home and they just don't want to respond to me at all. Nine months of nothing, she calls it, but after explaining her situation, Diana is now a priority client for the disaster recovery funds. And that's a good thing because I feel like, okay, at least the state of South Carolina Carolina is not just sitting here and not reaching out to um, the government and letting them know that, you know, just sitting here being solid. They, they're seeing that there are people out here that need help and they still are struggling from this um, the flood. Something's finally being done. Yes. Yes, I really do. I really do appreciate that. Always nice to see somebody on the path to help, but there's still a lot of others like Diana. The South Carolina Disaster Recovery Office will hold four more town halls across the state, including one in Georgetown next Tuesday. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.